10 to 15 containers of coffee bags are sent to over 10 countries, including Japan and Germany, in a month from this factory in Chuave, Chimbu province. Local farmers and buyers from the six districts in the province sell their coffee here at Congo Coffee's dry mill factory. The coffee parchments are then processed to green beans and transported to lay to be exported overseas. Congo Coffee was established here in Chimbu province in 1990. The managing director Jerry Kapka said his business began through a collaborative effort between him and the local coffee farmers. They are our partners. We have worked together and through their support we built Congo Coffee. It's not my company, but through their support, through this partnership. There's also a lab where the green beans go through quality check before packed for export. Another area is the food tech where the premium green beans are roasted and ground using this machine. They are then packed and sealed to sell. Mr. Kapka said he continued to stay in the coffee business for almost 30 years after retiring as a secondary school teacher to help impact the lives of his people. It creates an opportunity for our people to just earn cash. It gives them cash. Uh, you see, uh, that is why uh, uh, I keep uh, doing what I am doing because the cash that uh, coffee brings goes direct to the village man, the village woman, and it has an impact instantly. Early this year, the Coffee Industry Corporation received 10 million kina under the government's COVID-19 stimulus package to support coffee farmers and licensed operators. Congo Coffee was one of the recipients to implement the government's initiative. The absence of a proper uh, policies, we are using our regulatory policy guidelines or framework to drive the price support. And uh, we are dealing with our own licensed operators and it's been working very well at the moment. Managing Director Jerry Kapka said the impact of the government's coffee price support can be noticeable once sustained. Government forever cannot support price. It's, it's a money by short, yeah? But we have a two, three year plan. We have our targets that say we want to, you know, achieve three, four million bags by then. And we want uh, that much of our coffee to go into the higher, high quality markets, especially, you know, uh, markets. We have this plan out. Julie Badui, OWA. National MTV News.